looking to the body of Ray Allen. And gets it, Lakers by one. Here at a sold out Staples Center. Along with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Doris Burke, Mike Green on hand. Game two of the NBA Finals before the series shifts to Boston. Something's trying to tie it up. Pierce to the basket, kicked away. Pierce really having his problems. One of seven from the field, at least on the offensive end. As Jeff said, he's done a very good job defensively. Foul on Rasheed Wallace. Story of the game for Boston. Bush has been ran out. 27 points in the first half. It's an NBA Finals record for most threes in a Finals game. He did it in the first half. He did it in the game back in 08, along with Scotty Pippen and Kenny Smith as well. And the advantage that the Lakers have, Kobe Bryant leaves the game picking up his fourth foul. You still have a legitimate number one option offensively in Kyle Gasol. So you can play through him. How about this ovation for Andrew Bynum? He has won over a lot of fans by playing through this injury and playing hard and playing well. He's played very well. Give him credit. He's been a presence in the paint, altering shots, and then on the offensive end, being dominant in the paint area. This is a crucial time for Lamar. He's had a disappointing game thus far, but there's plenty of time left. Shannon Brown is on Rondo. Nice pass to Pierce. Pierce blows the layup, but tips it in on the follow. Just his second field goal, but it brings the Celtics within one. Right now, if you're the Celtics, you've got to be aggressive without foul. A test in and out. Rondo with his eighth rebound. He's got nine points, nine assists, eight boards. Rondo to Davis. Davis. The soul got a piece of it. Back out to Allen for three. Puts it in. And that's an NBA Finals record. Most threes in a Finals game. His eighth. Offensive rebounds. Perch. Glenn Davis does an outstanding job of getting the basketball. Delivering after Odin strides across the lane. Rondo with yet another rebound. Rondo pushing. A little out of control, but gets it to Pierce. And Pierce will reset. Davis against Odom. Quick spin move for Big Baby. Couple of fakes. Back to one go. Davis rolls on the floor. Fisher with a two-pointer. Banks it in. Shooting percentages, 42% for the Lakers, 43% for the Celtics. Shots here in this third quarter. And uh, the whistle call and a timeout by Phil Jackson. Ray Allen putting himself in the NBA Finals record books. He had tied it in the first half, but off the second shot opportunity, knocks down his eighth three pointer of the game. Eight of ten from downtown, 30 points in 30 minutes. One of the great shooters in the history of the game with a brilliant shooting performance tonight here in game two. ESPN's presentation of the NBA Finals on ABC. Brought to you by the 2010 Lincoln MKS. Lincoln, reach higher. Budweiser, with full flavor and a crisp, clean finish. It's what we do. And Warner Brothers Pictures, Inception. Your mind is the scene of the crime. In theaters July 16th. You asked me for Inception. I do hope you understand the gravity of that request. I have it under control. I'd hate to see out of control. Building from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. You're not prepared for this! Inception, ready PG-13, theaters and IMAX, July 16th.
guy at the gas station ain't waving to you because he's your friend. Guess what? He's got his hand in your wallet. He makes money on gas. You lose money on gas, okay? So here's something to wipe that smile off his face. Introducing the all-new 2011 Super Duty. Now with two all-new Ford-built engines. Gas or diesel, they've got the most horsepower, the most torque, and they've also got the best fuel economy. Hey, who's your friend now? The all-new Super Duty. I can't fly. Just take a running jump. Think like something that can fly. ABC's No Ordinary Family, Tuesdays this fall. For an extended first peek, visit ABC.com, the online home of ABC. Remaining in the third quarter, Ray Allen and the Celtics tied at 68. These are Windows 7 winning combinations with his performance tonight. Eight three-point shots, transition, pick and roll for the three, catch and shoot off baseline screens, another transition three off a poor pass, another catch and shoot. Uh, this is just remarkable shooting. Very few people in the world could make eight for ten from three if it wasn't a game and they were standing out there by themselves. He's doing it in the finals, and that's the record breaker right there. See you, Scotty Pippen. See you, Kenny Smith. He's all alone at the top. And he hardly ever hits the rim. And can I say something in the first half? I get a text message from Kenny Smith saying, He's about to tie my record. I don't need any, any assistance from Kenny Smith. This is what we do for a living. The soul tied up, stripped by Pierce. The double and then triple team. Pierce, nice feed inside. Davis and a foul. Big Baby showing his athletic ability again. As Pierce set off beautifully. And Doc Rivers all night long has been begging his team to share the basketball and play on selfish. The last time out got into the chest of Glenn Davis upset that he went individual on the last possession. This is what he wants. Guys making plays for each other. Well, when a team has 11 block shots like the Lakers do right now, that means they're coming on every penetration. So if you just draw the big man, as Pierce did, Odom came to help. Nice wraparound drop-off pass with your left hand. That's what you have to do against size, length, and shot block. Well, they have 21 assists on their 24 field goals. As the soul goes again, help defense for Pierce. This time they foul. Got a little too close. Gasol will head back to the line. Pierce picks up the personal. That's his second. And Doc Rivers' team in a lot of foul trouble right now. Pierce not one of them. And you see the Celtics looking to double team, but they're double teaming Powell Gasol on the dribble as opposed to on the catch, respecting his ability to pass the basketball. Pierce called for the foul. Celtics. Have taken 14 free throws in the game, but the Lakers now, this will be number 37. They're 27 of 36 right now, 75%. Well, another bonus of Powell Gasol that is underrated. You look 30 plus minutes, one foul. Well, look at Rasheed Wallace, Glenn Davis, and Kevin Garnett. 36 minutes combined, 12. Rondo, the floater. Can't get it to fall. Rondo gets the rebound, cuts it, throws it back out. Wallace, the two-pointer, backs it in. Rajon Rondo with another rebound. That was his 10th. And the pass was his 10th assist, so he's one point.